I'm gonna do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Do what? What does it look like? I'm gonna do it. No, don't. You have everything to live for. There's no going back after this. No, don't. I'm gonna start cutting things sideways like this. Oh, because it's more convenient for me. I think it's a really efficient way of cutting. Well, Actually what happened was they had a suicide crisis line on this bridge, Coronado Bridge. And they had a 1-800 number that you could call. So they paid for the signs, but they didn't have enough operators. So you'd be on the bridge, ready to jump. You'd you know, make one last reach out to humankind. You'd dial the number, and they'd put you on hold. So they actually, and they had a teenage one, they had an adult one. So I had a, uh, one summer, it only lasted about a week and a half, uh, I had the job, it was volunteers actually. So I wanted to do something good, something to help people. Uh, so there I was, and they give you a cue card that says, you know, different questions to say. Because they say that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So they say you try to get people to see beyond their immediate problem. So you, so there I was. I was on the phone, supposed to be with teenagers, but I happened to get an adult, a, a man, I guess he was about 50. And he called in and, you know, he's ready to kill himself. Had it. Goodbye, cruel world. So I went to have my little cue card and uh, I said, well, you have your family? He said, no, my, I just got divorced. My wife left me. She's suing me for all I have. I said, well, what, you, you have your kids, you, know, you have to think about your kids. Oh, they don't speak to me and actually, you know, whatever. Turns out they're not my kids. We did a DNA chat test. So well, what about your job? You know, you have, you've got valuable work to do. Oh, I got fired. You know? So at least you've got your health. Well, I was diagnosed with cancer. We went down the list, every single one. And by the time I got to about the 10th one, I thought, where are you? You know, I'll give you a push. But the, but the thought I got out of it was that I really can't help this man. And if, if I can help him, all I'm really doing is like if you're in a boxing ring and the guy's just getting pulverized. But his manager says, you know, if he goes 10 rounds, he wins $100,000. So even though the man is getting butchered in the ring, the manager's telling, hey, you're doing great killer, get back in there, ices the wounds and sends him back out. Oh, jeez, you know. So unless you know the real cause of the problems, unless you know a real permanent solution, all you're really doing is perpetuating the misery. Hare Krishna.